I'm going to start recording now, and so we are starting now. Uh, Angela, are you ready? I'm going to start sharing. Okay, I'm going to start sharing. I'm going to stop sharing my screen so that you can. Sorry. Okay, don't go, Angela. Okay, some noise are coming from it. Okay. It's okay now. I'm going to so I will stop sharing my screen now so that you can share your screen. So good evening, everyone. You are welcome to the another edition of Art Educators Hangouts. Uh, tonight we have uh, Dr. Angela. Dr. Angela will be presenting to us for the next uh, five minutes, 40 minutes. So Dr. Angela, you have the Dr. Angela is actually from, with us from um from Europe, that is from Portugal. She is actually communicating from Portugal. So, so uh, she is also an active member of INSEA, and uh, she will be presenting to us tonight. Dr. Angela, over to you. Thank you. So I start to say hello to everyone. Good evening. And it's, uh, it's a pleasure to be here with you in this end of the uh, Sunday. So my name is Angela and I'm from Portugal. And I, I work uh, with uh, research in art education and contemporary arts. And I'm activist also. And I teach in the university. And I'm artist. So I make lot, made lots of things. And today I want to share with you and I, have, I want to make a conversation with you about uh, my work and about what I do and I, what I did in the last year. So uh, to start, if uh, you don't mind, for me it's very important that you present yourself just uh, your name and what you do or something like that what you want to to say just to begin in the conversation please who want to start i hope we all get that she we uh dr angela what dr angela is saying is that she would like us to introduce ourselves and yeah. we, i think we should start with professor she gondute your hand is raised, sir. So you can go ahead, sir. Thank you. Um, it's a pleasure to meet you. I live in Canada and I work in Canada, but I do go to Nigeria once every year, except this year so far because of COVID. I'm a graphic designer and I also teach graphic design at the university. And I'm also sort of a mentor at a technical institute here. So everything around design and design writing or design thinking, that's what I do. Thank oh, you. Thank you. Thank you. Can we have Dr. Adenle now? Dr. Adenle. Dr. Adenle. Okay, let's move on to Elizabeth. I'm just Elizabeth. about hello. Good evening, everybody. Oh, okay, I'm sir. I'm just about Good evening, settling sir. down. Yeah, just getting home. I'm just settling down. Just entered your home. So please uh, keep on. Continue, please. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Wait, Thank you, sir. Can we have uh, Elizabeth from Namibia? Elizabeth, can you please introduce yourself? Elizabeth. 
Okay. Uh, can we have Mr. Ladimeji? I'm just I'm just calling the name according to the way we have it on the attendance. So, Doc, uh, Mr. Ladimeji, can you please introduce yourself? Mr. Ladimeji. Okay, let's move on to Mr. Olufemi Ogunshaye. Mr. Olufemi Ogunshaye. Okay, let's move on to. Okay, I think I think uh, Angela, you can you can proceed with your. Okay, we have another person. We have David Edosa. Can you please unmute yourself and, and introduce yourself? Unmute yourself and introduce yourself, David Edosa. Oh, I guess people are having challenges with the network. Angela, I would like you to just proceed because of we're having issues. Um, from... Okay, you can just proceed with your presentation. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. So uh, I start to uh, share. I don't know if you see my screen. Yes? You can see my yes. screen? Yes, yes. OK. Uh, if you have uh, some uh, questions or, or if you don't understand something very well, please tell me because English is not my first language and I have some difficulties sometimes. So if you don't understand or have something with uh, not so well uh, explained, please tell me. When I thought about this uh, presentation, I thought about how to tell stories, how to tell uh, things in the communities, how to work together, what, uh, which new forms of artistic hybridity we have today. And I think about contemporary art and design also because I'm designer and uh, I think how I can um, work with the community and how can I um, start to uh, research about art and activism, the artivism. And what kind of community, uh, community art I, uh, I, I agree and what time, what, what, which concepts I um, work. So I work with artivism, uh, with the ideological art, with collaborative practice, and it's this community art, it's a way of empowering people art for social change, a forum for cultural democracy, open space for a public dialogue, interdisciplinary, because uh, art in community is not uh, just sculpture, it's not so pain, it's just paintings. It's with visual arts, with media, with digital, with video, with music, design, theater, performance, architecture. It's with lots of disciplinaries. So it's a, a way of giving a voice to societies and, and to um, make uh, the community more strong. What kind of methodology I use? So uh, I use the methodology of Deriv. Uh, Deriv is a methodology started with the Situationists in, uh, in uh, Paris in the, in the first um, the first years of uh, the, the West century. So this method, uh, methodology is about walking, it's about uh, go outside and feel the city, feel the things, feel everything. And when you feel the city and uh, uh, walking and understanding 
uh, the, the banal, the, the things that uh, goes around and the forest and the people and you can um, touch uh, and um, speaking, uh, speak with the persons. We have this kind of, uh, you do these methodologies, the, the methodology of the RIM. You start, is the starting point. And you learn with the city, you learn with the place. One of the works that I have to show you is um, a community work that I've, I have uh, done in um, Israel in this year, in the February, when uh, I asked to people to come to a gallery and embroidery some uh, pictures, some pictures that I made all, all around the world. So they can um, sit, sit with me and embroider with me and tell me about their lives, tell me about their thoughts, their dreams, and uh, with this kind of um, work, we um, we make connections. We make connections with uh, our countries, and we make make connections with our communities. And when I have one person embroidery with me, came others. And we have a group of persons, we have a community working for um, uh, artwork and uh, the, the finished work with embroidery is not so important. What is important is the process. So we can learn with each other with uh, the manual uh, embroidery about the traditional, the traditionals. Uh, about uh, the, um, the communication and about hopes and about feelings with this kind of uh, embroidery we can have uh, like um, uh, a silenced work but very noisy. And with this work uh, I work with uh, lots of humans with different cultures because in Israel we uh, they have lots of cultures together, working together. Uh, they have lots of communities with uh, different religions. So I work with them uh, with embroidery and with music and dance because sometimes the language is very difficult for uh, for the, the people, for the participants. So we have all, lots of um, methods to uh, make things like uh, we can put some music and we dance and we learn together. It's very important to learn together. So you can see in the gallery the people sit in the floor or sit in chairs and they take some lines and start to embroidery, listen music and they, uh, they talk it, uh, a lot to each other and talk about how can, can we make uh, some artworks together, what is important for us. So you can see in these pictures lots of cultures and people together making connections. So art, the artworks can be a starting point to, uh, to learn, to share, to understand, to stay in silence and uh, to um, make connection and relations and can make something bigger. In the end, we have 
one with these squares We have good times together also. And we have these kinds of um, blankets because in the end we uh, we together, the, the, the people who made these, they, uh, we think that it's a, a good point to make a picnic blanket to go around the world and other parts of the world can make embroidery there and also uh, they can share their stories. So it's like an embroidery, but it's a picnic blanket uh, with uh, pictures around the world, with uh, embroidery around the world, and in the end we have uh, a blanket for everyone. So it's a gift for the humanity. Uh, now this picnic blanket uh, is staying in Japan. And in next year came to Portugal again. I put here one phrase, one uh, uh, one um, quotation or concept by Sassi, but I don't know if you know this um, this author. A text that represents reality, but also was a tool for action in the real world, shifting the focus from what art says to what art does. If you look at artworks was devices for action, we can take a different perspective. We are not just interested in the origin of the artwork, but also in its effects, in particular, how they constitute social relations and agents. I'm, I don't know if you now can see me, but I have here some books that maybe interest you. This is very nice, Art in Community. And this one is for Serbia and is uh, very nice to uh, it's, uh, talk about the migrations and the art we, uh, what, um, about action in the arts, with arts. I don't know if you have questions now because I don't hear nothing. And I don't no, know. No, just, just, yeah, just continue. Just continue. I, I can continue. You understand? <laughs> OK. I can continue. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Another work that I want to show, uh, I want to share with you, is another picnic packet that I make with the maps of uh, the places that I make actions around the world. It's a picnic blanket um, in progress. So I put more squares and I embroider in more squares. Um, if uh, when I go to some place, I embroider the place and I put there, I embroider the place and I put there. So this picnic blanket is um, a cartography of the places that I, I make actions in the world. Uh, you can see in these pictures, but the, the textures and the textiles are different. They are all uh, they are all white, but the textures of the 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 textures of the textiles are different. Like uh, if we talk about Asia, we have silk. If we talk about um, America, 
we have uh, another or another type of uh, um, textile. Uh, another artwork that I make a performance in Japan in um, two years ago is this. Uh, it it was a, a performance that I have a gift for um, each person that can they if they want to they want to collaborate with me. They came and I have a gift for them. This is it was the gift. It was uh, a box with food, and it was um, a blanket for put the food and uh, to uh, take some image to um, to start a conversation with me. So I stay. This, and uh, a tea for, uh, from Portugal. So you can see in this gallery in Japan, uh, I stay uh, and I um, invite people to join me and have a meal with me. And they don't talk uh, Portuguese, uh, Portuguese and I don't talk Japanese. So in this uh, performance, we talk with image. We take some image from this black uh, place and we start a conversation. We have lots of hours of conversation about symbols and with symbols. And in the end, we have lots of words um, a blackboard with uh, uh, the symbols and stories with image. It's about uh, take time to have a meal with one person that you kn don't know. Another artwork. It's uh, it was a performance also in Hong Kong. It's called cartography. It was with uh, lots of art teachers uh, from uh, China and from um, Japan also. It was um, a conference uh, in Asia. So in this performance, me and my colleague Teresa, we talk with the teachers and we uh, start with music and we start with uh, some journals and we ask people to uh, feel the music and from uh, for asia uh, for for asians for chinese that is very difficult to um, to share the feelings so they um, they close their their eyes and it's more easy for them to to show us something so here we talk with them about the everyday life what what cartography they do about the every, everyday life and they make some college and together we share what are the feelings of these cartographies and these maps because um, we uh, have the method of the psychogeography is a method um, that started in the 60s and we can share uh, feelings and we can share uh, what the thoughts about the moments of our life in the drawings, with college, with simple things, with uh, uh, the colors. So in this, in this picture, you can see the, the cartographies.
And in the end, we have a big cartography about the everyday life of the teachers in, in this meeting. So it was really nice to see the difference of the cultures and the difference between the everyday, everyday life of each other. For some of these uh, teachers, they never thought about the everyday life. They never thought how they feel about that. How, because why they have these uh, maps, why they have the, uh, they go uh, for uh, the work uh, for the same uh, path or something like that. So uh, for us, it's, it's very important to think about that. What was the feelings? Uh, another work that I, I made in last year in Amazonia, in a tribe in Brazil, uh, I start with a gift again and uh, with this kind of texture and the, the, uh, this kind of textile. It's very typical from here, from Portugal. And in these textiles, we have lots of words about uh, hope, about uh, the heart, about love, about passion. And I, I make a, um, a, a small bag, a very small bag. And I put there some, um, some small draws that I, I asked to my um, doctoral study uh, students to make to uh, to put in this bag and to uh, that I can uh, show in Brazil and in the tribe. So they they make lots of draws and make lots of cards. This invited, this, this is a card for inviting people to come. And they are very, well, this very, this is the process. And in the end, I crossed the ocean, I, I went to the tribe in Amazonia, and I, uh, I, stay, I stayed with the um, cacique, is the, the the man of the tribal the I don't know the word now <laughs> if someone can help me the the, the, the man that what is the, the chief. name the chief the chief, the chief. yes the, it's it's more or less like the chief of the tribe and uh, I give I. I take the, the gift and uh, they re he received the gift and it was really nice to, to see that it's like uh, aliens. We make aliens between communities because for them were very important to make this connection um, between the communities because nowadays they have lots of problems. Uh, if I don't know if you know, but the Amazonia have lots of pro uh, problems right now. And shift with uh, the presents, with the uh, cards. And it's about stories, because when I talk with the chief of the tribal and I and I I share the the histories about these cards. Um, it, it was very emotional because they know uh, that somewhere around the world, other people think about them. Other people make something very homemade for them. It's not a gift from um, a star. Is another thing with lot because these kinds of things, the paintings or the sculptures or so on, 
they have this rich thing that uh, a rich of stories, rich of time of people, and it's very it's very different to have this kind of gifts. It's and the in the, the middle of the Amazon, I take the picture of the shift. And uh, another artwork that I start six or uh, six or more years ago is this take action. I make lots, lots, lots of bags, like a hundreds and, and, and hundreds bags with take action, and I share with the others. And I share these in Taiwan. And when you share a gift, uh, a gift homemade, uh, you share uh, lots of passion. And the other, uh, of the other persons that uh, receive the gift, they want to to share with you other thing. It's a starting point to making something together. In Spain also, I share these bags with the take action and with lots of things in the bag and they can make other things with these things. So in, in Spain, for example, they, may, they make some, um, some toys, but it's not a, a, it's some sculptures uh, about uh, feelings. In, Bra in Brazil, I make an action and they, uh, with, these, uh, with these bags, they want to make a performance about flowers and flower forests how the people make uh, something uh, with papers with uh, hearts so the gift it's the starting point for the artwork in the community these bags i made for russia And I make these in the grocery uh, of my grandmother. And in this grocery, I made with uh, both women also. And I, uh, it's, it's like um, what I made when I made the, when I make the, the bags, uh, I have one community with me. And when I uh, share the bags, I start another community. It's another action with uh, these kinds of bags in Portugal with students of masters. This one is from uh, is to Russia, to Russia, that I make some uh, these bags but with some seeds inside and tea and a card with um, lots of symbols to start the conversation. And I make hundreds of them. And uh, another uh, artwork with these kinds of bags I made with children in schools. And uh, it's um, a bag uh, with maps. They can uh, draw in the bags and make uh, a map of the, the place around the schools. Because sometimes children, they don't know what have uh, uh, in the streets. They don't have, they don't know the persons around the schools. So it's a starting point to uh, have this critical thinking, to develop this critical thinking in children also. And they want to go outside and they want to talk with the, the others. 
and they can learn and they can, they can share things with the others. And another bag with the doctoral st students and uh, it's a, a gift, it's a, it's a dream box that we make for International Society for Education through Heart. And inside you, I put some seeds also, and I put some drawers. And we make other performance. With cartography, we make a performance in Spain, for example. And we can uh, talk each other without speaking. And this one is in Egypt. I don't know, Adani knows <laughs> this one. It's action with textiles also. It's a collaborative work. This one, it was in uh, Thailand with uh, students for uh, fine arts in Thailand. In Macau, in China. In Chipre, we make uh, postcards, a uh, different postcards that we send mail art for everyone about the cartographies and the maps that we can make together. And in this year, in Portugal, with the situation with the coronavirus pandemic, we, uh, we make uh, another bag, another gift, but this gift is uh, for people with special needs, uh, with uh, masks, and in the masks I write with love. We can isolate, we can have a social distance with love. And uh, I work with uh, these people with special needs because in Portugal right now it's very, different, it's very difficult for them to have some works and come outside because it's, uh, it's not forbidden, but it's like very difficult to come. And we work with, with them and you can make some, some, um, some works together. So right now we work with, uh, sorry, I go. We work with the, the people with disabilities and we can um, talk with each other with photography. It's the work that I, I have. I'm, it's in process. And we have here some reference. If you want, I can share the presentation with you later. And thank you. And you have my email here. So now I can see you because it's very difficult. I don't I didn't see you. So it's very difficult to to talk in this way. So okay. If you want to talk with me, please. <laughs> okay. I'm, okay, I'm thank alone. you for your wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I I guess you can see my my face and face of some other people. Uh, thank you so much for that wonderful presentation. And do you know what, when you are sharing this? Uh, more, this this is not my first time of seeing your presentation. But most of the time that you share your presentation, I feel like packing my bag and also start moving around the continent. You know, go to China today. <laughs> tomorrow to be in jamming and all that. It's actually a wonderful experience. But I would like other people to ask questions tonight. So if you want to ask questions, and, and I want to use this opportunity to welcome Mr. Uh, Mr. Onobolu Abiola into our means again. It's been a while that, we, that I've seen him on this program. Mr. Onobolu Abiola, welcome tonight, sir. 
probably we should just give you the chance since we have it's been a long time that we have been with us to be the first person to make comments sir. good evening i really miss i really miss this family but thank god i'm back i've been so busy i was moving i was i was moving oh, from one okay. place to the other so that was bad oh Thank you very much. It's, it's nice to have you back there. Do you have comment to make to that preset, to that beautiful presentation, sir? Uh, not for now. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Um, Professor Shegon Lude, probably, I don't know if you have comments or, or questions, sir. Professor Shegon Lude. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. Uh, I really enjoyed the presentation. Um, I think there's an emotional content to it. Just seeing how. Also, also about, okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, just seeing how you are able to bring communities together with the making aspect of it. I think that's very uh, exciting to see. Um, they, there is an underlying emotional connection that's made by the very action of gathering people and making something together. So that was very good to see. I also like the aspect of taking the end of one and making it the beginning of another community. As you said, you do work with different communities and the end of one begins the other. So it will be very interesting to actually see your own cartography of the world when you're done with all these processes to see how you went around and made these connections. Yeah, so I'm very privileged to see this today and I really thank you and applaud your work. Well done. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, okay, thank you so much, sir. Um, Mr. Ladimeji, Mr. Ladimeji, uh, I've been having um, a little hit concerning the network, but notwithstanding, I think uh, it's everywhere tonight. Okay, so I I want to commend uh, Angela for a job well done. And um, her presentation is uh, quite uh, inspiring. Uh, opening us to community uh, projects, which I believe that uh, these are some of the things that we need to imbibe in this part of the, of the world. <laughs> So, to equally take our hearts to the community, for them to equally feel our impacts. Um, seeing some gifts presented in, so, in some of the places uh, she went to, it, it, it's, so, it, it's something that is amazing. Uh, I, I feel like being there to collect one of the gifts anyway. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Uh, I I want to I, I want to commend her and I want to applaud her for for a job well done. So thank you so much. Okay, thank you so thank much. Thank you. Sir. Thank you so much. Thank you for the comments. Okay. Um. I uh Ayola or Morfo, would you like to make comments? Okay, Elizabeth, I guess Elizabeth wants to make comment now. Elizabeth, you can go ahead. The answer is raised. Elizabeth, you can go ahead. I'll move yourself and speak. Just want to can you hear me? Yes. Okay, yes, I just want we can to you. comment. You, you just make me fell in love with your methodology, the way of you using a performance 
act of engaging, letting people to engage themselves with pictures and tell their stories. So I'm a painter by myself, but I need to engage more in performance because I feel like it's so free, it's so it's a nice way of communicating and sharing ideas and encouraging each other and so forth. So I love it. And I also like the way how you said uh, you engage uh, with uh, people uh, who are disabled, engaging with disabled community. It's so nice. Those are the people that we also have to look at so that they cannot feel left out. So I love your presentation. I, I'm looking forward for more. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, so thank, you thank you a lot, Elizabeth. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, okay, when when Angela visited Nigeria last, okay, okay, um, Professor Shegolude, uh, you can go ahead, sir. Go ahead, sir. I just had a question for Angela that um, how do you source your materials? Because I see you use a variety of materials. Um, in fact, on one of the first uh, bags that you showed, it looked like you have bottle caps and you made them into buttons. I thought that was very interesting. And I was going to ask how you got your materials and how all of that played into the general concept in each location. Yes. I when I start a project, I research a lot. I want to know about everything, about the community, about the country, about the culture, about everything. And um, my starting point is the concept about the culture or the thing that I want to show or I, I want to gift for the others what I want to uh, to share. So is the uh, I when I research I take some notes and I I, I begin to start a project and I I I'm starting to a drawing and make lots of uh, things and um, uh, for example with the um, Japanese with Japan it's very difficult to communicate with words and it's very difficult to communicate uh, with uh, if you want to touch because for Japanese it's forbidden to touch. So we need to know about that. We need to know about the culture and the, the everyday life. So uh, I start to make a, uh, this kind of project with I want to share my tea because they have tea, but it's not, it's different from my tea. So I have the gift with tea. I want to share meals because it's very important to share meals and have a, a meal with the others. So I uh, think about what I, what kind of meal I can share. And uh, I know, and we, with my research, I know that we have a cake is the same cake with Portugal and Japan, so I made the cake for them. So it's like little things, step by step, uh, I make all the projects. So in Japan, it was very important, the performance. It's very important that they have time to sit there and have a, a, the meal with each person. And it, it's like, it's a process of, uh, artwork, but uh, I think a uh, lot of times in emotions, in the feelings, and what I want to um, to start, because I want to start action in the other side. I want to not to do something very in the time, but I want to. Um, uh, I want to this action. Uh, 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 it's more. Uh, I, why I sorry, but 
uh, I forgot, I forgot the, the words. And I, I wanted to um, have the, the, the tools for the participants to do the things later, alone, uh, alone or with the, their community. I, I maintain the contacts, I, man I maintain the connections with the, the participants and with people, but they need to do something with the, their own community. So it's the, like the starting point. I, I start, but the artwork is there with the community. Thank you for the question. I don't know if I my answer is good, but... Very good, you did. Um, it helps me because you said you start with research, yes. and that's very important uh, to know the culture, know the people, know the kinds of materials, and know the attitudes. Because the specific one you mentioned about Japan was a big surprise for me the first time I was there because not touching people, not hugging, not shaking hands long before COVID. You know, so they were used to it. They were always, you know, most people who have masks in public. This is like 10, 15 years ago already. So that was a big shock. And if you didn't know that and you wanted to have a participatory thing where people hold hands, it's going to be difficult for some yes. people. So that's and they don't speak English. So yes, they don't exactly. speak English. So it's a difficult because and so I take some drawings and we make some things with the uh, with the pictures because the we make another type of the communication without words. Thank you. Well Thank done. you a lot. Thank you. Art, art is the universal language anyway. <laughs> um, do we have another person? Um, um, uh, we have Pastor Ayodele in the house too. Can we take your comments, sir? Pastor Ayodele Felix. Okay. Omo Omo Ayola. Would you like to make comment now? You need to unmute yourself and speak. Your mic is muted. Okay. Yeah. We can hear you now. We should okay. be clear. Okay. You can speak now. Yes. Okay. I'm glad to, you know, at least I think I met Angela when she came to Nigeria. And I was happy to listen to our presentation today. Yeah, I was uh, motivated how she started up. Um, I want to ask one question. Did you get a sponsorship or how were you able to carry this assignment, the gift pack and all those other things? I want to know, or was it a grant? Because it has to be, with finance has to be more involved in this. So I just want to know more about that aspect. Yes, I, I, make, it, I make these with the um, projects. I make projects for uh, European Union. And I have some grants, and with okay. these grants, I can make. I have some materials, and we can make some things. Yes. Okay, you're doing a beautiful work. I like it. And um, thank you so yes. much. Oh, yeah, well done. Okay, um, one of the people that I met with uh, Angela when she visited Nigeria last year. I uh, was uh, Pastor Phyllis. I don't know if Pastor Phyllis can hear me. Your mic is muted. I would love you to contribute to this conversation tonight. Okay. So, do we have another person that would like to make comments? Uh, Professor Shagunde, do you want to say something? Your mic is unmuted. Oh, I was going to say that um, some of those people have network problems and they are off. Okay. Okay. okay, thank you so much, sir. Uh, do we have uh, do you have more comments or questions uh, tonight? Anyone? 
Okay, I think I think I think we have we have really exhausted most of our questions and comments tonight, and we have spent this is about six minutes after nine. I think it's a good night. It's a good time to close tonight. In the absence of more comments, questions, and all that, so somebody is trying to come in again. Okay, that is Mr. Ladimeji. I don't know if probably he has. Do we have questions to ask, Mr. Ladimeji? Can you hear us? Yes, I can hear clearly. Okay. Do you okay. have any? Do you have, do you have more comments to make? Uh, well, just um. I just want to uh, inquire from uh, Angela. You know, uh, I look at a series of uh, trips she has made to several countries, and uh, I look at it without the support from somewhere. I don't think uh, this will have been possible. Is there any magic to that? To, to make this, um, we can start with a small community. When I start, I start, I start in uh, when uh, I was very, very young and I, I didn't have money to do that. So I start with the rubbish and I start with uh, lots of things that, that I collect in streets. And I start to, to make something to the others. And when you start to make something to the others, a gift to the others, and we make ourselves, it's you start a conversation with this. Yeah. And we have what if you want, I can share some uh, bibliography uh, about the gift because the gift is a methodology of uh, art for the artworks. Uh, for the community art also and uh, we uh, have this kind of gifts that uh, in the beginnings of the the movementations of uh, people around the world so sometimes we di we didn't don't need money to do that we can start with a small community with uh, uh, with the people around your house, and we can start to do something together. Okay. Well, that, that's quite uh, uh, inspiring, anyway. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much, Dr. Angela. And we can we can all see on the screen our email displayed, so we can get the email from there. So yeah. thank you for a wonderful presentation, uh, Dr. Angela. I hope ne your next trip outside outside Portugal, you can you can I can join you on that. <laughs> I'm extending yeah. my own presentation. <laughs> Yeah, okay. we have the problems with <laughs> the borders and we can cross the borders because of, <laughs> but I think in next year, yes. next year we can make something together here or in another place. Okay, so thank you so one, much. Thank you so much. One, one last thank question you. before she goes. Yes. Have you done okay. anything uh, virtually since COVID happened? What, uh, the virtuals? Yes. If I made something virtually? Virtually, yes. On, virtually, on the internet, just like we're having conversation. Uh, before she answered that uh, that question, she was she has been in my class. She oh. has, she has, she shared the, this particular, uh, another uh, type of artwork with my female art students in my school, in one of our uh, remote learning uh, platform. And okay. it was a wonderful, inspiring, and motivating uh, session for those two kids. And why I invited that then was that because in that class, that was year ten, we teach uh, art and design class. All of the, we have all female students, 
about seven of them. And I'm just looking at a way of inspiring them or motivating them into this field of art. So that is where I brought in Angela then, and they were really inspired. Wonderful. So that is one of those engagements I would like to just mention tonight. It was really inspiring for those kids. And since ever since then, it, there has been a lot of commitment on their part to their arts. There has, it has improved their commitment and uh, uh, even motivated them to put more time into their artwork. So I just want to, but I'm just using this opportunity to say thank you to her for that opportunity. And thank that is you. one of those ones that I know. And uh, I don't know, Angela, if you have done all that thing, uh, through the internet too, with other communities or artists or art educators. Yes, yes. Every day uh, I have meetings in the internet with uh, lots of artists around the world and uh, communities because uh, I have these connections with all the communities that I, I have something there. So I make these connections so every day I have meetings in the internet because my research, my postdoc research, it's about um, traveling and art in community. So uh, our contemporary art in community around the world. So I have lots of this. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, I don't know if you have more comments tonight. I believe you can close now. I said you have more comment to make. So let's just leave the floor to whoever has a comment to make now. The floor is open to us. Okay. In the absence of no more comment and all that, I would like to say thank you to everyone that have joined us tonight. It has been another great time uh, with uh, Dr. Angela. And indeed, the art educator angle this month has been a great one and a wonderful one. And I want to say thank you to everybody that make it possible and for the support from every quarter. I want to say thank you. And uh, we, have, we are starting another month uh, next week. And uh, I hope next month will be a great one for us too. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for everybody that has been a part of this. And uh, good night. Thank you. Good night from Nigeria, actually. I don't know what time it is in Canada, because Professor, uh, Professor Golide is joining us from Canada. So what time is it from your answer? It's 3.14 PM, 14 minutes past 3 PM. Oh, OK. Yeah. And they like this is after nine. That is about uh, we have uh, about seven uh, three. That is about six hours. This hour difference. Oh, that's great. Okay. Good night, everybody. Thank you for Good joining night. us Thank tonight. You. Thank I, you. I believe October will be a wonderful time for us on this Stay on safe. this platform. Yeah, we will. <laughs> I guess some people are just joining us now. So um, I guess the network has really uh, affected the program tonight because of the turnout. Because most people are just trying to join now. I guess that might be the network. So good night, everybody. Right, thank bye bye. You. Thank you so bye. much. We can, we can, bye. We can thank you very much. Yeah. Good night. Bye. Good night, sir. Right, bye. Bye bye. Yeah, bye bye. Bye bye. Pastor Felix, we are trying to get your response the other time. You are back. <laughs> Is Angela still there? Oh, she has left. Is she still there? Oh. We are trying to get you to talk the other time, sir. Oh, she has left. Yeah. Okay. Good night, sir. Good night. Good night. <laughs>